let me show you what's new in Ferrite version three. This is my favorite editing app for podcasts on any platform. I love it on the iPad. New sidebar with lots of new interface options, including settings and, of course, uh, your user guide and all of that, but also smart folders for the first time. So you can do basically saved searches of any kind of media that's in the Ferrite library and get access to them very quickly. Here I'm searching for a tag. There's a new tagging structure as well, the theme tag. I'm turning off everything but audio files, changing the sort by name. And when I tap save, then I can tap on theme songs and I can see all my theme songs, as well as these other smart folders that are preset for projects and original audio. But there are my theme songs. Every audio file tagged with the themes tag shows up there. In projects only, I can see my project here, Gribbit's Detective Agency. I'm going to tap edit and get into the main editing view. Now, perhaps the single biggest change in Ferrite 3 is its new audio it's engine, it's which allows yeah, variable playback speed. Because probably people would have similar pendants, but made out of so more valuable playback. materials. But we can change that. Here, in the customizable toolbar, there are a bunch of different items for different speeds. Slow speed, fast speed, 2x speed. And you can drag them all into the little toolbar. There's also a speed toggle that toggles between whatever weird speed you're at. This and seems one like, ranking really low now. Yeah, this seems like a level one pendant. Also, they you didn't take very good care of it, so now we're listening and it slowly. still smells like salsa, though it has been clean <laughs> of salsa. Uh, as you are looking around for chips in the bag, of salsa, you find something slightly chip-like. You find a chip. Now back to one end, which is to say, it's like a little, uh, little kind of metal and card. Now back to uh, and it's basically uh, anyone who has been around water deep long enough would recognize it. It's kind. Of, it's basically the saves a lot of time because when you're just auditioning, what's going on. You can uh, you can get to new edits really quickly, and you don't need to listen at one x. Just like people don't listen to podcasts at one x. Equivalent of a receipt for people that are not as, as no, that's a two x speed, which I just um, dragged. And into looking the at this chip, it has stamped on one side. Uh, basically, uh, with the person who uh, gave it out, which seems to be it, it is the boat, mm. the so one cool. object of value. We should definitely pick that so up. Holtzman paid these people. It's not very descriptive. All right, let's make it edit. I'm scrubbing the audio here. Another new feature. You can grab the playhead and scrub through audio forward or backward. That's, again, something that Ferrite 3 just added with its new audio engine. Object of value. We should definitely pick that up. So Holtzman paid these people. It's not very descriptive. So it's what basically like value? a pawn ticket. Yeah, basically. Can Make a few little edits. Delete. What one person says, slide it in to close the gap. And paid these people. So it's basically. Get it a little bit closer. And paid these people. So it's basically yeah. like a pawn ticket. Yeah, basically. Delete some more little blocks. Not that I know what that is. A lot of my editing is deleting things that are. Not that I know what that is. That are not necessarily uh, changing the time. What else is in nothing this about part, You know. Um, you know. It's a ticket that can only move forward or diagonally if it attacks. Mm. Oh my. <laughs> Two good jokes there that I want to unearth, so I'm going to delete. I'm going to move things out um, and unearth this. Uh, Not that I know what James. that is. I know nothing about porn. Uh, that joke only works if you've got his accent. I'm going to delete what Tony says altogether and just slide in Steve's next joke yes. here. I know nothing about porn. It's a ticket that can only move forward or diagonally if it attacks. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Please don't encourage me. There's a hairbrush. There's uh, some bobby pins. And if we leave the project and tap on info, you'll see there's a new info pane as well. It's got a lot more information about every project that you're working on. Uh, you can drill down into the audio clips that you're being that your project uses and see them directly. Uh, very convenient, all in one place. Just a really simplified interface. Uh, that fits in with sort of modern iPad and iPhone interfaces. And then there's also this great new dropdown from the share menu that lets you find all sorts of different export and conversion options for your project. I use Ferrite mostly with Apple Pencil, but you can also use a keyboard or just your hands. It is my favorite podcast editing tool. And if you've got an iPad and need to edit podcasts, you should definitely check it out.